I think that what will help really the circulation of European film uh, movies is really to trust all the local um, distributors or platform that will really adapt what I'm selling them to their local audience. My question basically to all of you, in your experience, in your daily business, what factors do help to make European films circulate successfully? If I, if I can start from, from our experience, it's, I think that there is not a maximum that, oh, yes, it can help for sure, but we have from our experience, like both sides. For example, last year in filming, the most watched films of our platform they were a BOD direct releases. They were titles like, for example, The Assistant. It was potentially and mainly for a key factor that was uh, for the, the topic of the Me Too, for example, that it's a wonderful movie, of course. But then we had Boiling Point, that we have the talent of Stephen Graham. Stephen Graham, we have a lot of uh, series like The Virtues, also in the platform that, that work really great, and he's a wonderful actor. So, and it's like a unique shot uh, title that it's very, very special title. Or for example, After Love. After Love is a movie that just recently won the, the it was in the BAFTA nominations and we acquired it like a year and a half of two years after that was already in the circuit, in the European circuit. And we had, and it, it also was, it's a very tender, sensitive and wonderful movie. So those three, those three were the most watched films of filming. It's important to say also that in those titles that we directly release them in BOD platform, we invest the same or even more budget as we can spend in a film that we release it in cinema. We, we, we for example, we did a, an, an advertising big canvas in the main key locations of Barcelona and Madrid with this title. So I think that it's very important to believe in the content that you have, depending on the window that they have been. In the other hand, we have also the examples of Two titles like Annette and Drive My Car, that they are also handled with, by us in, in Spain, thanks, uh, thanks with, um, with Elastica Films. Both of them, they came from cinemas, and they have worked also really well. And the cinemas, they did a really good job for this. But when with the cinemas, at least in the, key, in, in the case of, the Spain, of Spain, there is like a key problem, that is the window problem. With Annette, we had to respect a four-month window. With Drive My Car, we achieved to have just two months window. Here is a problem, because when you release a film and you have to wait for four months, OK, maybe the film has worked great in the, in the theaters. But two months after, or one month and a half after, the film, they are not speaking more about the film. And when it comes to the platform, four months after, it's like the feeling of the, of the audience is that it's not a novelty anymore. OK, now I can watch it here. But it's not like a new release for me, you know? So I think that. This is bad for the movie. And Annette worked it well in filming. It worked it well and it was a success. But we have the feeling that maybe if it had had a two months window instead of a five a four months window, it would be great. In the case of Drive My, of My Car, the cinemas were a key. The, the Oscars, you know, okay, but the cinemas and his success in cinemas and how the people started to talk about the movie once it was in cinemas. It helped a lot to have it potentially release, uh, to have a potential release in the platform also. So I think that. Again, depending on the movie, depending on the situation. So it's not a general rule. I, th I think that there is not a maximum. Okay, if it's in cinema, it's going to work better. Or if it's going to, if it goes directly to a BOD, to a BOD platform, it's going to be work better, depending on the case. When I'm selling a program, I'm, uh, I'm pitching differently. If I'm talking to Mark, or if I'm talking to an Italian, or if I'm talking to an American. So I think that what will help really the circulation of European film, uh, movies is really to trust all the local um, distributors or platform that will really adapt what I'm selling them to their local audience. Even though we have successful story of movies that have been traveling all around the place, we also have stories of movies that have been so successful in theater in certain countries because the distributor made an incredible work whether it was a passion project, whether it was a timing, whatever reason, 
those films will live forever. I, I represent a catalog of 1,000 titles. Out of them, I still work on titles which were produced in the 30s. So the, the, uh, the theatrical release, trusting a distributor to make this film live for long in a territory, I think, is, is really is essential. I guess you confirm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I think also to your, your question about the, you know, that uh, it's always funny how numbers seem to always come up with the same, the 80-20 rule that you just mentioned before. Um, and to your point about curation, the, the, the platforms, um, if, we, if we look at the way our films get consumed on the platform, there is always, you always have the top bit on a platform, you know, the carousel or however they call it, and you have the top ten. And it's almost a self-fulfilling prophecy that people will tend to gravitate towards what's in the top ten. So, you know, sometimes we're lucky we have one that is in there, the father or whatever. But for the other titles, and that's the big majority of European titles, curation is key. And curation on the platform and curation with the distributor. And I have to say, uh, the Netherlands is already what I call a post-window post market in the sense that we have windows to define moments, but what happens within the moments is something that we need to figure out. So almost each release has to find a, a, a special uh, way a special strategy which includes the theatrical and then premium VOD, TVOD, SVOD and all that stuff. And final point is that as much as we work hard to make a film work in the cinemas, we also work in partnership to co-invest with the platforms to make sure that our titles get also the attention they need. Because the long tail you know, and that, uh, you know, that thing that people think that because it's, it's there, people will watch it, that doesn't work. There's always an exception, but it doesn't work. You need to invest in curation, you need to invest in money, marketing spend, and also have the people behind it that have the passion for the film to make sure that it, you know, it gets a slightly better result. So I think that's crucial. Please. Just the statistics that I discovered earlier this year, uh, it was an analysis on the uh, consumption on the, um, of the title on the platforms. Uh, there is a huge choice. It's like 50,000 titles. Uh, over a month, guess what is the percentage of titles that have been seen once? I think you, we, 10? Ten, ten? Yeah, Any, anyone else? So maybe, Christine, you're a, bit, you're a pessimistic. It was 15%. <laughs> yeah, it's only 15% of the titles that are watched at least once. So I, twice, I don't know. Maybe it's 5%. So marketing, inspiring the audience, that's really critical. You cannot just put titles on a platform. It doesn't work. So I guess if I have to wrap up the, the first panel, Mathilde? Yeah, just, I mean, I think you're making a, a very good point. And Beyond circulation, it's also questions of discoverability because we also have an increased number of, of, of VOD service and films can be on one and not on the other and films can be available not necessarily on the top three biggest platforms in the, in the country and we see we know that people are not going to subscribe endlessly to S, uh, SVOD for instance, they're going to have one, two, potentially three and then they're going to go to other services uh, after, afterwards. So discoverability is very important and because as your study shows, there are more f European films available across in, in other in other countries. So there are some, they are there, uh, but we need to find them. So I think there's also an education point that needs to be done. I mean, there are tools available which we can strengthen and develop, and the observatory has one, for instance, and 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 we can uh, strengthen the education for the people to go on those tools and say, okay, this is where the film is available. This is how I can access it. So that's uh, quite interesting. I think prominence and curation is also very important to make sure that the films that we want to promote are there, but we're coming back again to the point of investment in a country to develop a market, to develop a domain, and that's why the territoriality is extremely important, because you can't just release it and hope that people are going to watch it and hope yeah, you're going to recover your invest your uh, your uh, the cost of the film you have to make an investment which then needs to be recouped so it's an entire process and maybe if i just want to add one point which i'm sure is very obvious to the entire room but why is it also so important that we also get uh, from a producer point of view when we have our films distributed and you have the investments and we get um we get some um 
some revenues out of it is that it helps us invest in other projects because as a producer we have to invest in a very high number of projects to have one come out of the production and ha become a final film which then we have to have distributed so it's an entire cycle it's important to watch it from the point of view of one movie because you have to develop that audience but from a producer's point of view we have the entire long-term ecosystem to take into consideration because the success on one film in a certain number of territories is is exactly what's going to make us help us make the next one. And maybe one last point you mentioned, and I'm very you mentioned it, is transparency. It is very important for us to understand what the audience wants. And the more films are being on VOD, the more difficult it is for us to know what people want. And without that transparency, we are in the dark, especially when in some cases, VOD platform are also producers. When you're an independent producer, you don't have access to that information, so you also have a different level playing field, which I think is interesting to look at. So more transparency would also be very helpful for circulation because it helps us understand what people like. Mm -hmm.